Are your seedlings leggy? And how do you know if they are leggy? In this program, I'm going to have a look at my seedlings here and measure them to see if they're leggy. I'll tell you how I grow them so they're not leggy. And then I'll also discuss the mistakes you might be making that create leggy seedlings. Now, well, what is a leggy seedling? Basically, it's a seedling that's too tall. And when they grow tall, the cells in the stem actually elongate. They are longer and skinnier. And because of that, you end up with a weak seedling. A leggy seedling will tend to flop over. And sometimes you see them actually laying on the ground when they're really leggy. That's not a healthy seedling. And it's your job to prevent that from happening. Now, my tray here is full of tomato seedlings. Uh, most of them are the new purple tomato. That's a new GMO purple tomato. And I've done a couple of videos on that. So let's see if they're leggy. The best way to tell is to just get a ruler and measure them. Now these seedlings are just starting to make their first true leaf. Remember the first leaves that you see are cotyledon leaves and the second set of leaves are the first true leaf. I know that's a little confusing but that's what the biologists call it. So if I measure from the soil surface to the cotyledon leaf, the tallest one I have here is an inch and a quarter. Most of these are under an inch tall. That's a good size. Once you start reaching two inches, you have a leggy seedling, but it's it's still passable. It will still end up being a healthy plant. Once you get over two inches, the plant's really not healthy, and you really should do something about it. So how did I grow these? I always germinate using my baggy method, and then once the seed germinates, I plant it up. Now, I had extra seeds germinating, so some of these pots have two plants in them, and I can decide now to either take one out and only leave one grow, or I'll split it and grow two. Now, I have some friends who actually want the extra one, so I'll probably do that. I start fertilizing as soon as I plant the seed. Don't wait. It is true that the cotyledon leaves get all of their nutrients from the seed. So you don't really have to start fertilizing until the true leaves form. But I don't do that. I use 100 ppm nitrogen and I fertilize right from the start, even before I see any green above the soil. How do I calculate 100 ppm? That's quite simple and I'll put a link to a blog post I have that describes that. Gardeners should get away from this quarter teaspoon per gallon thing because it really depends on which fertilizer you're using. If we all started measuring fertilizer in PPMs, we'd all be able to communicate much better. The second thing I do is I give it lots of light. For these seedlings, I use the new LED grow light from MetroGrow. It's a fairly bright light, and I keep the light about a foot above the seeds. That gives me a PPFD of about 500. To be honest, I started the light a little lower than that. And I've noticed the leaves are a little on the purple side. So I'm going to keep it at about a foot high. I keep the light on for 16 hours. And that gives me a DLI of about 28. Now the DLI is the daily light integral. That's the total amount of light that the plants are getting. And for tomatoes, it's recommended that you use a DLI between 22 and 30. So I'm in that range and I'm towards the upper end. And that's important. If you give them enough light, you'll get shorter seedling. I'll also put a link in the description to tell you how to calculate your DLI. That's another number that gardeners have to start using. All right, so what causes leggy seedling? I've discussed this in detail in a separate video and I'll put a link to it in the description. So here I'll just summarize the factor. Number one is light. If you have leggy seedlings, I can almost guarantee that you're not giving it enough light. A lot of the new grow lights that are being sold to gardeners just don't have enough light. I made a video on that too recently where I reviewed a number of them from Amazon and gave you the kind of values you're getting. Put a link to that in the description as well. But if you're using shop lights, the four foot LEDs, or you're using some of the new ring lights, they're not giving you enough light. You need a more powerful light source. And most windows are also not light enough. The second factor is fertilizing. I see too many people online saying you don't have to fertilize seedlings. Wait until they get larger. That's simply not true. The third reason is using a fertilizer with a high phosphate level. Too much phosphate makes the seedlings grow taller. 
keep that middle number in the MPK low. Another factor is heating them. A lot of you start your seedlings on heating mats, but then you leave them on the heating mats once they start to grow. Seedlings should be germinated warm, but grown cool. As soon as you see any green, get them off that heating mat and also take the dome off. That's also keeping them warm. It's also a good idea to have some air movement. So try and get a fan near them, but that's less important for leggy seedling. But the lack of air movement won't cause leggy seedling. It may cause damping off and having the air movement on these seedlings and making them move does help a little bit. But the number one factor is the light. Get yourself a good light. All right, so let's say you've grown some seedlings and you go out and you measure them and you find they're too tall, they're leggy. What do you do then? Well, if you're in the two inch size, just use them. They're going to be okay. Try to increase the light if you can, but they will turn into good plants in the garden. If they're over two inches and you still have time, the best thing to do is start the seed over again. Trying to turn tall leggy seedlings into healthy plants is not a good way to go. They're always going to be weak plants until you can get them outside into real light. And then they're set back a piece so they won't be growing very well. So if you have time, start the seed over again. There's a number of videos online that tell you how to fix leggy seedlings. Well, you really can't fix leggy seedlings. Once they're leggy, they're leggy. There's nothing you can do to shorten them. Now, some of the suggestions people make will help you grow plants from leggy seedlings, but you can't fix the problem once it's there. The trick with seedlings is to prevent it in the first place, and the secret is better lights. If you're interested in this light, I'll be making a review video probably within a week. So subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified when that becomes available. I've referenced some other videos in this program and I'll put links to those right here. Happy gardening!